guys, I'm here today to show you everything I picked up at our card show. Our card show was April 6th at the Winston-Salem Dash Stadium. It was an absolute killer. Awesome stuff I could pick up while I was there walking around, you know, hosting the event. And um, it was a great day. Super excited for our next event, May 25th at the Greensboro Grasshopper Stadium in Greensboro, North Carolina. So come out, get more info at palcardshows.com, follow our Instagram, Pal Productions NC, and check out some of these big pools, or buys, I guess. I don't, I don't even know. I'm going to slow roll some cards, show you some stuff, uh, PC stuff. Some stuff is going out, so um, some stuff will sell. But I'll show you by lot. So we'll start off, I, I picked up a pack of um, One Piece, just why not. I got this Yuta. Ah, it's Yuta, it's cool, but I don't really know her. None of that part of the anime yet, I can't even lie. So, um, a lot of this is sports. There's two, three TCG cards. So, just give me a second. Wait one second. Next is going to be Deoxys for the Master Set from EX Deoxys. Um, cool card, cool Master Set. Very expensive Master Set. So, when you can get some cheap, um, even in, you know, beat up condition, it's fine. I'm not going to sit there and buy everything mint because I would be broke. So, we're not doing that. Next one I'm just going to show off is the Backroom TCG. Um, it had its Kickstarter, I think... Oct fall of last year fall of last year um really cool single player tcg which is really neat these are from their free promo packs but i also picked up a few uh single packs just to buy and uh, show some support to them for you know being their first event they've ever set up with so you've never seen a solo player tcg but there's so many video games out there that are solo player and tcgs are so similar to video games uh it's really cool I've even had those days where I want to play, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't have any friends who can meet up or whatever when I used to play competitively. Um, so it's really cool to have something that you can play by yourself. So check out their Instagram right there. Um, make sure to give them some love and support and check it out. I mean, it's a different type of game that nobody's really done. So definitely get in there and let's get lot by lot the cards, sports cards I picked up by who I picked them up with. So it'll be like four cards from this guy, ten cards from this, whatever. So check these out um, right here. Start off with the first lot. We're going to start off with a cool Steve Nash rookie. I mean, Steve Nash, obviously an iconic legend of the game. Uh, one of those players that I always enjoyed. So, and ignore the sticker prices. This is not what I paid. These are just top loaders and soft sleeves. So, um, all together for this lot, I want to say these four cards. I want to say I paid like 150, 160. I think it was 160. So, um, Steve Nash rookie. We got a Stephen Curry rookie right there, and you can never find these kind of rookies. So um, that was definitely a cool pickup. No, I did not pay $250 for this card. Altogether, it was about $150. $150 altogether. With the Dirk rookie, number one. Number one rookie right here. Um, first rookie I picked up, but there's there's two of them in here. Um, so I always love Dirk. Dirk is a PC player for me. Um, any of his rookies are hard to find. Tell me the last time you ever saw one in the wild That wasn't one of the biggest card shows of the year. Okay, so Pal products this one of the biggest card shows of the year We have Dirk Nowitzki rookies. Okay um, Another one which is the finest rookie. I love that it's not a refractor or anything But I mean it's neat just to find one of his rookies like I said out in the wild I bought all four of these from a guy for about 160 is about what I was in it for I don't really mind because it's PC stuff. I'll pay a, I'll, I'll pay a pretty penny for some PC stuff this next card is insane. I have never seen this. Panini, you messed up. Look at this. Jordan Love, like patch, out of 50. Now, what's wrong with this patch? He's a Green Bay Packer. We all know that. We hate to see it. Look at that patch. That is a Ravens patch. Panini, did you even try on this one? What What were you thinking? You, you put the totally wrong patch. I get they're just player worn. This isn't even worn by this play. You're telling me Jordan Love put on a Ravens jersey? Like, for what? Like, that, I don't even know what they were doing here. So that's an iconic card for me. I picked up this. I also picked up this Aiden O'Connell auto patch. Uh, three or Two color patch, uh, black and, you know, silver. But that's super nice out of, uh, I think, Spectra. Yeah, Spectra. So it's numbered out of 50, 75, 75. 17 out of 75 on the print. Um, I'm buying Aiden O'Connell all day. I think he's the cheapest rookie quarterback. Um, I mean, if you're going to sit here and buy Trevor Lawrence, who had similar stats to this guy, I mean, you might as well buy this guy for a quarter of the price, less than a quarter of the price. I paid $50 for all three of these cards. Um, this one is numbered out of 40. So that's a banger right there. Always love to uh, pick up some O'Connell. I think he's one of those underrated quarterbacks who, uh, when you saw him play, he did very well. Um, you know, I don't know every single statistic about the guy, but he's one of those that I'm like, 
I don't mind buying and losing 50 bucks versus buying a Trevor Lawrence downtown and then next year when he's benched, you know, losing a, a thousand. So um, next we're going to get into some Hall of Fame patches. And we're going to start off with my boy Dirk. Always got to start off with some Dirk. Um, the 41 behind the numbers patch. All of these are game used, which I really like. That is the most important thing in a patch. Not just player worn like that Jordan Love because he wore a Ravens jersey. This is actually from the game. So check this out. Um, number, Like I said, behind the numbers, 41. We got Splash right there of Dirk, which is really cool. Again, game-worn jersey, always cool. Fleer, um, iconic for, you know, any Legends of Basketball. I feel like Fleer always has some nice stuff. Um, we got Jason Kidd, another sweet patch. Again, game-worn warm-up jersey, but still pretty cool. Um, this is one of those ones that I was like, do I put it back? I was like, ah, just get it all together. Um, but Jason Kidd, always sweet. Um, Jerry Stackhouse, I mean, you can't go wrong again. Legend of the game, big uh, big time players. So, and I love this card art. Like that artwork is so clean. Um, there's so little to it, but it's such a good look. So I don't feel like some of the things nowadays are just so overdone. I feel like you can get away with something like this, and it's iconic. Um, Beast of the East, Paul Pierce. Uh, pretty cool patch right there. Again, game worn, or I mean, um, game worn warm, warm up, but still pretty cool. Um, again, Legends of the Game, always just pick them up for patches and stuff like that. Um, Dish, because he's dishing it, of uh, Jason Kidd right there. Always like to have some Jason Kidd. He's one of those, again, that I'll always pick up, like Dirk, like Paul Pierce, like all these other guys. And another uh, Game Warm warm-up jacket, um, a little less, you know, sought after to me. But, I mean, it's still pretty cool. Again, anytime you can pick up Legends. So, again, I paid 50 bucks for all those, or 40, no, I paid 40 bucks for all those. Um... So f about five bucks a piece on the patches. Really cool stuff. Again, iconic to me because it's those it's those basketball players that a lot of us grew up with. Or, um, you know, when I was getting into it, people wanted to be these people. And so that's why. Um, speaking of iconic, let's get into this next one. Um, Bill Ripken, FF. You know what I'm saying. So that's going to be your error card right there. This is one of those cards that um, I've always wanted to have in my collection. I mean, an error like this, you, you don't see it much anymore unless it's a Jordan Love, you know, and it's made by Panini. So you don't see stuff like this. I love the card. Obviously, it's the error. So um, the era of errors. Um, so cool card. Craziest number, 616 in the set. Imagine how big that set is. Um, I just saw that. just thought about that. But yeah, got the FF. Picked up some Victor. Um, never bad to buy Victor, especially right now with how he's looking. Got the green laser. Um, it's not got a heavy price tag on it, but I mean, it's still nice. Um, anything of his is just going to probably drop off pretty soon. But, you know, especially near the end of the season, I think it'll get a little bit of hype and then drop off. So sell it right then. If you're buying Victor, uh, that'll be a good time to do it. Tua, underrated, always goes under under the line, you know. Nobody really is ever just saying, oh, I want to buy Tua, I want to buy Tua, I want to buy Tua. He's another one of those quarterbacks that you can get in cheap. He's going to have a few banger games. You sell him, and then he drops off. Always happens. We've seen it season after season with this guy. Um, even when he got into the playoffs and everything like that, I mean, you just see it. So two is another one, uh, just a blue Donruss. But I got all this in a lot with the Bill Ripken, with the Victor, with all these other cards you're about to see. And then I'll give you the total. So um, then we got a Traylon Burks. Never can pass up on a rookie auto, um, you know, especially when it's numbered out of 10. So that's going to be a nice one right there. Um, out of Honors, nice artwork as well. I really like the purple. looks a little um, textured as well. So that's a sweet one. Um, again, I just got it in a lot, so I'm never going to pass up on a rookie in a lot. If I can just get it all together for a good price, I'm going to buy it. We got David Thompson, auto, uh, out of 99, Hall Dominator, which is always cool. You know, Legend Autos and stuff like that. I've got a lot of those just sitting around, but they're still just cool cards to have. Iconic players. And some people are just really hard to get their autograph. So, cool David Thomas, um, or Thompson, sorry. Um, then we got a Vince Young auto. Vince Young, iconic, under the radar, and um, undervalued. I think he's always really cool. Um, so I picked this up in the lot. I mean, it's just a base auto, but I think it's still super clean. Uh, corners look nice and everything. And again, it's Vince Young. So anytime you can pick up Legends, I'm picking up Legends. Malcolm Brogdon, really underrated. He's been injured for two months now. He hasn't played a single game. Um, he's now on the Trailblazers, I believe. So um, a silver auto, I mean, you can't pass that up in the lot. 
especially because it's prism anything prism is going to be premium prism premium remember that if you're new to collecting prism premium it just happens that way even if i don't agree with it and i like other things more it's gonna happen i don't control everybody i just control what i see and what i say so um prism is going to be your premium and it's a silver auto never hurts to pick that up we got Kyler Murray, someone I always buy into every season saying, this is his season. This is the one. Well, now everybody else is jumping on board. Everyone else is saying this is the one. So we picked up the Genesis, um, you know, out of 2022, I want to say. Yeah, 2022 Mosaic. Picked up the Genesis in the lot. Um, can't go wrong. Case hits. Never hurts. I mean, you're always going to have stuff like that. Next, we'll go to the Flawless Von Miller. Uh, first on print out of 10. Always cool to pick up Flawless. I just love, um, obviously, the set's so expensive, so overpriced, and you can do so badly on it. So I picked it up because you can buy the singles for super cheap. Um, so I got this all in the lot. Got two Victor rookies. Just got these thrown in so we couldn't meet on a certain value. So I was like, what can you throw in that will kind of get us to the same point so that you don't have a lot into that I can at least get what I'm looking to get out of it back. And so we decided on these two Victors to throw in. Obviously, it's Donruss, Monopoly Prism, about 10 15 bucks a piece. But, I mean, it's Victor. Again, he'll sell. Victor stuff sells. Let's see which of these I want to show you first. Um, we'll show you the Brock Purdy first. Uh, Tri-color, die-cut, rookie. Um, always good to pick up his stuff because, again, um, after the season, losing the Super Bowl, his value is a little low. Um, you can always move on to the next season and just see what happens. Again, he's someone that I think... You know, so many people believe in, and I think he will definitely get that hype again uh, as the season goes in. Uh, it go, we get into, you know, summer and fall. You know, football always hypes up around then. So then to top it off, we'll finish off with some Mean Joe Green. Speaking of legends today, we'll get this thing out of there. Second on print, out of five, two-color patch. I mean, this is beautiful. Um, National Treasures, patch auto of Mean Joe Green. One of the most iconic players Especially being in this area, there's a ton of Steelers fans. Even though I'm in North Carolina, there is a ton of Steelers fans. Sadly, I couldn't find any UFC, but I would be happy to pick this up any time of day. Matches the PAL Productions colors. So make sure to follow us on Instagram, and you can pick up some iconic cards at our shows. Our shows are packed out with stuff a lot more high-end than this, a lot more low-end than this. Um, you can find anything. That's the biggest thing we bring to the, to the show, to the table. Um, the most diversity... And um, we always try to have a rotating vendor list, so it's not always the same people. Of course, we're going to have some regulars, but um, yeah, I just hope you guys can make it to the next one. May 25th at the Greensboro Grasshopper Stadium, partnered with Cards of the Cages, a local card shop in Greensboro, North Carolina. Find all of the information you need at palcardshows.com, palcardshows.com, palcardshows.com.